My career has taken me all around the world to places I would never have seen in my life. I left school on a Friday, came to work on a Monday and I've not a lot back. Engineering is not just for men, it is for women as well. Engineering is an exciting profession. You get to deal with and look at all aspects of work, from detail such as IT software, to large complex buildings, large complex railway signalling op operations, large luxury yachts. So it is the perfect balance between technical skills, the mathematical skills, but also the creative skills, the design, the creativity and solution finding. Engineering comes from the word ingenuity, and that's what we're looking for, people with ingenuity who will really enjoy their work. Recruitment is very difficult for engineering. Um, we have struggled in the past to recruit any level of engineers. Um, more recently we've been recruiting for apprenticeships and we found that the local college weren't able to um, provide us with a large number of applicants um, due to competition elsewhere in Plymouth. Unfortunately we didn't have one single applicant for many females at the time. At MGB Engineering we're really focused on recruiting, bringing new people into the industry. We've opened a design academy for 10 design engineers and on top of that we have another eight or nine apprentices working on the shop floor and working in other areas of the business. But we, there's more we can do because we, we want to support the growth because it's a, a fantastic opportunity. The idea is we take on 10 apprentices a year and train them in railway signalling design um, so we can fill a massive gap in uh, engineering resource within the UK. Unfortunately we didn't have any female applicants um, via the college because they had a shortage of applicants. Um, but we did manage to identify within our own company and with her previous academic background as well, put her through the same selection process as everyone else um, and she, she passed with flying colours and so she's here and has joined us now and uh, is one of the ten design apprentices we've got. I was due to go to university to do uh, forensic psychology in Worcester and my mum actually works in the shop floor as an installer and because I wasn't due to go to university for a few months she got me a temporary position on the shop floor. And the time came for me to go to university and I didn't want to go at all, just completely changed my whole life decision of what I wanted to do for a career. My friends and family and particularly um, school teachers that I bump into every now and again were very surprised when they ask what have you been up to type of thing and they find out what I'm doing now seeing as it's in the complete opposite direction that I was facing initially. The idea is they're working towards a IRC license. Uh, the IRC is the Institute of Railway Signaling Engineers. Um, and basically the, the licensing scheme they run is a measure of competence. Um, and getting that license will mean they are competent to undertake work on network rail projects. Started off in the dockyard. I was a second year girl apprentices. So I was always interested in sort of mechanical and electrical things and I felt like an alien. Somebody shouldn't really be there to begin with. Um, some people were really quite resentful of the girls being there and it was hard work. Yeah, I, I suppose it's the new generation of men coming in, getting more used to women being around and yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot easier than it ever was when I first started. I think the main issue when it comes to recruiting women into engineering is the um, preconceptions they have. Um, I think especially the younger generation tend to think that engineering is, is full of uh, big burly men dealing with dirty oily, oily machines. Um, and whilst there may be some of that in engineering, actually quite a lot of the industry is a lot more high tech, a lot more clean and technical than that these days. And changed the style and everything. All I loved at school was art. I was art mad. And I would skip any lesson to be in the art room and um, my teachers eventually struck a deal with me because in the old days it wasn't a done thing for girls to do tech drawing, woodwork, metalwork. So they said to me, well then you skip your geography, history and things like that and we'll let you do tech drawing. When I, you know, I needed something challenging so when this job came, came available I went for it and got it. Quite challenging and very, very rewarding. I've been working in the area for the last 20 years on and off in manufacturing and I've progressed 
from an expediter chasing orders in uh, to a purchasing manager running my own team um, of stormmen and um, an assistant buyer. So yeah, there's a definite progression there that I've enjoyed. The culture in MGB is um, wonderful. It's a very happy place to work. Um, it's a very family orientated um, feel about the uh, company. Come and see us, come and meet us as a company. We're a very family friendly company. Come and have a look around, try out some of our um, equipment, see what we do, speak to our apprentices, come and have a look around on the shop floor. We're a good company to work for and yeah, there's lots of opportunities. It was an area I didn't even know about when I was younger. Um, and possibly I would have gone into it a lot earlier had I known more about it. I think if, if you're interested and you can put your heart and soul in it, I reckon it's it will give you everything that you put into it. We want the best talent and 50% of the best talent will be female.